Hi, I'm Mustafa. I'm from Turkey. I'm 30 years old, and now I live in Riga, Latvia, with two pets. <laughs> Hello, Mustafa. Hi, how are you? Good. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Thank you for coming and sharing your story today. We're really interested in hearing about where you're from and how you ended up here. So why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about the place you're from? Uh, so I'm from Adana. It is uh, kind of in the south part of Turkey. Uh, if people don't know, it's close to Antalya. Like, I mean, not that close, but like six hours. And uh, my hometown is famous with kebab. And um, it is one of the biggest cities in Turkey. It is a very, very hot place. It never rains. No, sorry. It never snows. It usually rains, but not that very often. And during summer, it is very, very hot. And as someone who don't like uh, hot weather, now I'm enjoying the Latvian weather. And yeah, like I moved to Riga like four years ago and so far so good. And like now I like the weather here, <laughs> trying to get used to the people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's a great point. Tell us a little bit about what are, how would you describe people in your hometown? What are they like? Um, what do they do? How do they interact with each other? So actually, uh, like my hometown, especially, uh, people are a bit, uh, they, they get heated so easily, not like in an aggressive way, but they, they just, like, I know like Turkish people are way different than maybe like Baltic people, but in, in even in my hometown, like my hometown, people are different than like the other Turkish people. They are a mm -hmm. bit, I don't know, like they are heated, and it, you can see in the news, like you know, like some, you know, like people are fighting in the traffic jam. It may be from my hometown because they like to express themselves like really like easily, and just in the end they get heated, and you can see those. Uh, uh, funny news as well, like, uh, as I told you, like, my hometown was very hot. I think it was a couple of years ago, two guys tried to shut the sun because it was so hot. <laughs> they got, you know, so mad. <laughs> so, yeah, like, these kind of things can happen in my hometown. Like, I mean, I'm, I can say I'm not one of those, but uh, and now in Latvia, it's, it's way different. And mm -hmm. people are a bit uh, not into being like talkative and even like just simple good morning sometimes so hard. Mm -hmm. But I think now I'm used to this and I am at first it was very weird for me because um, like even to colleagues, like, you know, like good morning, have a nice day, have a nice weekend, just blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, now I stopped doing these, but um, now I have two pets. One is Poppy. Uh, but the strange thing is now I'm going out with the Poppy and people are like, in, like just trying to say hi to him. And in the end, they are the ones who tell me, have a nice day or goodbye. Now it is like, why it is like this now? Like, is it because of the pet or or people are changing now? I'm just like in, in between, like, like are people talkative to see strangers or not? Mm -hmm. So I will see, like I'm still like trying to get used to the Latvian people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it sounds like uh, what is maybe considered... Um, what is maybe considered the way people interact yeah. where you are from is that they they do some small talk, some greetings, some hello, how are you? Yeah, I mean, if I go back to my hometown, like for vacations, like even those people like to whom I'm not talking like every mm -hmm. day, they say like, oh, you are back. Like just like even mm -hmm. those like small things, hey, like how was your hometown and blah, blah, blah. And uh here i had those uh, kind of for me it was weird like the the, the things happen like 
in my first months, there was this one lady, like I think she, she just stepped on the ice and she fell. I just wanted to help her, like, are you okay? She didn't even look at me, like she didn't want to say anything. I was like, why? Like, just say it's mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> or there was this one time, this one lady like trying to take her bike to the tram. And I was in the tram, I wanted to help her. Like, I just kept, I just took her like bike and like, put it in the tram and she said nothing. <laughs> Not even like, you know, like just smiling. That's not, I'm not talking about the verbally thank you, but she didn't even mm -hmm. say anything with her eyes. So I was like, why? Just like, it should be simple. Yeah. <laughs> but I also so... have those like the opposite things happen. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how, what to say about Latin people yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it sounds like you, you had these mm, unsaid rules from where you yeah. were in Turkey. This is how things work. Yeah. And then you came to Latvia and you said, uh-oh, it's not working the same yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you found that maybe there's even a different set of rules for yeah, when yeah, yeah. you have a pet or, or yeah, something yeah, yeah. else that now you are learning, okay, maybe there are people who yeah. want to greet and want to come up and want to interact because yeah, of this I mean, new thing. Yes. <laughs> I also can't see the difference easily uh, of Latvian people who has lived abroad before. Mm, mm -hmm. if, like if the person has lived abroad, like even a couple of months, I can easily see without even asking like because the person is talkative or you can maybe like even hold the conversation a bit longer. And in the end, I asked them, like, did you live abroad? And they said, yes because i think when they were there like they got used to this being talkative in daily life mm -hmm. so but like in general i like like latvia and latvian people maybe this is something i should get used to like mm -hmm. just because i know how like it was in my hometown it doesn't mean that everyone should be like this so yeah like i even bought uh, like as latvian people call themselves uh, introvert. I I was really into like, what is like being called introvert? I, I got a book, like uh, it's called Quiet. It is a, a book written about like introvert people. And now I'm reading this and okay, like they are also like normal people. They just don't choose to be that talkative. So I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And had you traveled around very much in Turkey or outside of Turkey before you moved to Latvia? Um, so because of my father's job, he was an officer. Uh, we had to live in a different places. Um, I live uh, in the middle of Turkey and also like in the, in the seaside, the touristic places. Like, so now we moved, like they moved to my hometown, like their hometown. And he, he got retired. And uh, I went to, to USA. I was like, uh, taking pictures of people. I was in, like, in a theme park. Uh, it was such a nice place, such a nice experience and adventure. There I could also see like people are talkative and they are uh, different kind of nationalities. And, but overall you can see, they see you they say even just hi, like in the, mm -hmm. like, I don't know when you see them, they just say, hi, how are you? Maybe that's why like, like after seeing Turkish people, like, like American people, or when I went to like, let's say Italy, like I know Italian Turkish people are a bit like similar. Mm -hmm. When I came to Latvia, I see like way opposite the like, type of people. And then I was like, okay, this is something new. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. sounds like the places you had been, somehow those those unsaid yeah. rules kind of were more similar yeah, yeah. to each other. Yeah, yeah. They weren't such a big gap, so so opposite, um, which is which is an interesting <laughs> an interesting yeah. thing to encounter because um, you can logically understand that some things are going to be, to be different, like weather. You understand, okay, this yeah. is very south. It is going to yeah. be very hot. This is going to be very cold up here in the north. But 
um, you don't always know how to prepare for what things are going yeah. to feel very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is easy to get used to and what is, what is harder to, yeah. oh, I still want to do it this way. Um, tell us a little bit about when you, hmm, no, don't, <laughs> I'm yeah. moving too fast. <laughs> tell us about the thought process of why did you start to think about wanting to live outside of Turkey? And then how did you actually act on that? Like what research did you do or what did you think about when you yeah. were deciding? Well, actually, I mean, like in the end, I moved to Latvia, but the first thing it was whenever I met new people, they were asking always, why Latvia? Why Latvia? Mm -hmm. So like, if we come back to how I decided to, to move like outside of Turkey, like, I always wanted to live somewhere new, like, you know, I wanted to be a guy just doing everything by himself and blah, blah, blah. Like, of course, like I was living with my family and I wanted to learn new things, like new experience, like new problems, like so I could solve by myself. And um, I wanted to be somewhere very calm, with good nature. And even though I had no idea about people, I was like, okay, Latvia seems nice. And uh, I was thinking like maybe Estonia, Lithuania, and uh, somehow I decided with Latvia because I really like from the pictures and you know like all the things I have searched. Okay, Latvia is a nice country, and uh, but it was actually kind of like very quick decision. I graduated, I was working, uh, I started working, and then okay, I'm going to move abroad. After a couple of months, I quit my job. I applied for the visa and all the like the procedure. And it was like after six, seven months, I was here already. But even in my first day, I felt like, okay, I'm used to this place already. Like it wasn't like a, it mm -hmm. was a new place. I was like really happy to be here. And I think that's why I really like the country. Like it's not like, um, I don't know how you say, I can easily say like people are, I'm, I've never had this experience like this um, being, uh, I don't know, like I can say negative towards to like foreigners, like like negative towards to my nationality. I've never had this experience. Everyone speaks English very well. This mm -hmm. was something like uh, I was really surprised because I tried to learn Latvian before I moved to Latvia. And then I came here. I saw everyone was speaking English. I was like, okay, I don't need to learn Latvian. <laughs> okay, now I'm trying to learn again, but like, this is such a nice thing. I, I never have the problem. Even mm -hmm. when I'm walking my puppy, I see like um, one old lady wants to pet my puppy. And if she sees that I cannot speak Latvian, she tries to communicate with me in English and this is something very nice. Like I really mm -hmm. like it. That's why I think I felt like I'm not somewhere abroad. Like I could communicate with everyone. Yeah. yeah. And how were those first few months settling in? What what memories do you have of showing up so you felt very comfortable? And what other things do you remember about the process of kind of okay now I live here? Um. Like, of course, like uh, in my first months, I was like, okay, I'm in a new country, new experience, new people. Like I never had this, okay, I should do something for myself. Like I was just, I was just walking every day after work to, to know the bars and places like the, which museum is there, like the park and cafe. Actually, even my friends now ask me, Latvian friends, like, where should we go? So this is something like, okay, I'm Latvian already. And, um, but yeah, in the first months, like, uh, as I told you, it, it was never like, uh, like a hard time for me to get used to the country. Of course, like, uh, maybe I had those problems because of, maybe some, like, like sometimes like language barrier, but, uh, or let's say 
you know, like uh, trying to find a place to live. I don't know, like getting residence permit and blah, blah, blah. But overall, like I could just easily communicate with people, even though they call themselves introvert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, um, that's why like as I told you I cannot understand if they're like really shy introvert or like uh, talkative or open to talk people mm -hmm. yeah and it's such an interesting question because I think sometimes we we try and we do generalize yeah. about cultures so we generalize yeah, that yeah. americans are talkative but not all americans are talkative yeah. some are really introverted yeah, yeah, yeah. we generalize this about latvians too but it is because we're trying to figure it out okay so are latvians i had another um friend another person who's yeah. moved here say they're hard on the outside soft on the inside <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, like uh, you need a couple of months to 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 be friends with them mm -hmm. it, it doesn't happen in one week <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And so you're trying to think of these things because you you want to connect. And so you're like, what is what is my method yeah. to connect? Because you don't know their rules and how they grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and what things did you find for yourself specifically yeah. that you found helped you connect with local people, people from here? Um I think you just need to uh, like maybe it's gonna be it's, it's gonna sound like maybe funny. It's like you need to approach them like how you approach to like a baby, like a really like, small and gentle. Mm -hmm. And I think they don't like um, this like you no know, like very quick friendship. Maybe like sometimes like relationship, but like after some time and slowly and slowly like. I know they they don't talk that much. They like to listen more. So I I feel like I have to talk and talk and talk. Mm -hmm. And I'm just waiting for them to tell me about themselves or how we can be friends and stuff. And it happens. It happens slowly, but I think nicely. So I can say, I don't know even though you need to spend your time in the end, it's going to be nice. It, it's it's going to be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you kind of work up to it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> like slowly, like, at, I don't know, at work, like you say, hi, and how are you? Uh, but I think there are those that like, click moments. It makes like, it starts to the friendship or trying to be close. Mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes even like going out for drinks because this is something I also have seen like uh, those people who are not talkative uh, after a couple of drinks they are way opposite and I get okay you are like talkative and we talk and talk and talk and it happened actually like, quite often like during the Christmas parties in the office like I talk to this person because the person is like maybe the alcohol calmed them just a bit like uh, talkative and next day I see the person in the office she is again like not even saying hi <laughs> I was like what's happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so like I just I think I need my time to to talk to people <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and um something I noticed when I moved when I lived somewhere else mm. is that it also pointed out to me uh, the things about the place I grew up yeah. that I didn't think about before. I didn't yeah. consciously think about, okay, this place was this way. Yeah. So were there things after you moved to Latvia and you started to live away from Turkey yeah. where you realized, oh, this is really Turkish or how I do this is a very Turkish approach or, or even you know, from your hometown, this is kind of how people are, or I've brought this with me. Anything like that that you uh, noticed? Um, like, not it happened to me, but uh, I think it was like, I can say almost like seven, eight months I, I moved here. Um, there was some kind of uh, group of band, uh, like Turkish, like kind of old women, like they did some kind of like a band and they came to Riga to give a, like a small concert. 
I went there and of course there were like other Turkish people and I was there like um, with one girl like I was seeing that time and in the end like we went to those ladies and we were just talking to them and in the end those they were just like almost my mom's age they were like behaving us like like we are there like son or the daughter they were giving us their food and just like hey how are you oh you, you gained weight blah 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 just like you're just like chatting um they they even like took took pictures with us like because some of them like were from my hometown mm-hmm. and like um i think they gave us like those like small like musical instruments that like, we were just playing and this one lady she looked at me and later she looked at the girl that i was seeing and she told me oh you are you gained like a bit weight you need to lose it look at the girl like she is like a model and she uh i think she grabbed my like friends like belly she was just like trying to you know just like a dance like oh like a little and it was like really uh, weird for my friend because like a stranger was touching her mm-hmm. and like she was just looking at me why she is doing this i think she felt i don't know not offended but she was a bit um, kind of maybe protective like please don't do this but i don't know maybe in turkey it would be like a fun or nice way to interact so but i can say this is maybe we are a bit more uh, like uh, we are using our hands like you could see our emotions like from our face and i don't know maybe we don't care about this um like the social distance not like uh, the, the pandemic way but like you know we, we like to be close mm-hmm. and maybe Your sometimes space. we even touch yeah 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 mm-hmm. yeah we maybe sometimes we don't care about the space but in latvia it is kind of way different mm-hmm. so that's why i also had to get used to this yeah 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 the personal space is maybe closer yeah. in turkey and in yeah, latvia yeah. it is yeah, 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 yeah. further apart yeah um and this is this is interesting how it yeah. varies from from country to country and also yeah, again yeah. unsaid people don't yeah. they talk about it a little bit but you learn just oh, you see people yeah, yeah. <laughs> go yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where my line is don't come yeah, any yeah. closer um which is which is really interesting what are some of the um things that you learned about in Latvia that you didn't expect that you really enjoy um i think that like, um not not talking a lot would be something i could i could say you know this less is more mm-hmm. <laughs> like um so i think i i i learned this even though i was like this before maybe i learned it now more like to 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 observe more and then okay, like to think or talk and um, I, i i mean i can easily say like we are like different kind of people latvians or like europeans are different kind of people but here i could say that they are really respectful outside to like each other i can say maybe like in the, on the traffic or i don't know in in daily life okay maybe i had good examples in latvia and the bad ones in turkey but i don't know here i, I liked about this they they really love the nature here like i can see my friends like going hiking this i don't know the beach side like they are active people this is something i also wasn't expecting maybe and i see from latvian people mhm yeah and what challenges did you encounter Uh so you said you didn't land and feel very like negative yeah. heavy things mm-hmm. but what kinds of things um even just in day to day interactions were or maybe still are challenging for you um i i think it would be the same like uh, um even like those simple talks i'm not saying just like you to your neighbor like ask them about their life but say hi and hey now like almost a year i'm in a new place it is kind of a big apartment and i think different nationalities and also like 
lots of Latvian. And here I can see people are saying hi and love read, love the end. And I'm surprised like, okay, this Latvian person is saying hi in daily life. Um, but there was this also this, um, for me, I didn't understand why it happened. Like, uh, I think it one of those like uh, Women's Day. I was at one of the, the Narvasans and there was this one, I don't know, like 20, 25 year old person there, like the, the worker. And I just told her like, happy Women's Day. And she just didn't know what to say back. Like, just like she said nothing, like, just say thank you. <laughs> just, mm. I think this, this could be the most challenging thing, like uh, mm -hmm. the, the simple talk, mm -hmm. just the daily life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like they, um, another way I've, I've heard it said, other than kind of rules are this idea of a script, yeah, that we have almost like a movie or a TV show, we have a script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say hello, in my country, you say yeah. hello, how are you? Yeah, yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. How are you? Yeah. Good. And we know yeah. what to say, and it is almost like here... I, I don't know the script. <laughs> yeah, 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 so I yeah, yeah. go with my American script, but then they say, wait, there is a blank here. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what to say back to you because this is not my script and I'm, I'm reading my script. They are reading their script and something does not fit. Um, yeah. I mean, um, I had an Italian colleague and as you may guess, like mm -hmm. we are emotional people. Like we like to talk, we like to express like, our like emotions are through like the face and he was telling me that every day he was saying the, the same group of colleagues like love read love read love read and none of them are like replying and I think we were together once uh, and I, I guess it was the same group of people and he was telling them uh, bon appetit, like have a, have a good meal none of them replied back right? And in the end, he got, um, I don't know, like not angry or mad. Just like, why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should be yeah. simple. Like, it's not like, I don't know you. You are my colleague. Say, thank you. Or you too. <laughs> yeah. And it brings up a, a thought process, or maybe even yeah. you can call it a decision of what do I keep from mm -hmm. the way that I know how to be? Yeah. And do I change this? Should I change this? What, what do I want to take from my new place? And what do I want to keep? And so we, we find ourselves in this process where I, at least in, inside my building, yeah. I will still say, almost always, I will still say, labdi and labrit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't care if you don't answer. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I want to be. I want to be the neighbor who at least looks at you. Yeah. And I understand they may not respond. Some days they respond, some days they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, but there are other things, for example, being very quiet in a store that I'm like, okay, I, I, can, I can do this. I can be very quiet yeah. in a store. I don't have to ask questions. I'm okay to change in this way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so it's an interesting, it is different for everyone. Um, and what kind of, what kind of things have you decided to, to keep? What kinds of things do you, have you decided, okay, this is, I like this like, new way of doing it better. <laughs> ah, like you mean like the, the behavior of Latin mm -hmm. people that, mm -hmm. um, like, um, like, uh, I, I don't know, like, maybe those are the examples still like I, I got like in a positive way but um they uh, they are like very clean outside like i, I cannot see like many of the garbage like like i don't know like the empty bottles and the, the, the packages and stuff this is something i really like and um i really like that um when i'm trying to to speak in latvian when I'm in a bar or I don't know, let's to those people when I'm talking, uh, when I'm walking my dog or like wherever, sometimes I get this, um, the positive feedback, they get really happy. 
um, I think they, they appreciate and that it makes me happy that they see my effort or at least a foreigner is trying to do something. Um, I also succeed that many Latvian people are patriotic. Uh, I mean, they, they love their country. Um, they love those uh, special days like the, the Yanni or uh, I forgot <laughs> this concert which happens every every four mm -hmm. years. Um, yeah, the song they, festival. They, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they really love it, and I really love it. Like I know it's hard to find tickets. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, he wants attention. <laughs> so yeah, like I I really love those kind of things. Um, Latvian people like about Latvia and Latvian culture, and. Um, even though the country is small, they are connected. And this is something I, I think I appreciate uh, the most like, the, about Latvian people. Nice. Yeah. And are there other stories that you can think of, examples of things that have happened while you've been in Latvia that you just want to share? Um, Oh, well, actually, once my, my wallet got stolen, I guess, uh, in a public transportation. And uh, of course, I went to police officer and I did everything. And it was in the afternoon. The, the, the driver found me on Facebook. And, and then I went to, like, the, to get my like, wallet back. It was a nice thing. Maybe she wouldn't even care. And... Um, Actually, the same happened to me. I found a wallet on the street and I contacted this person like uh, on Facebook. I think I, I, added the, the, I added her first so she could see my message. And, and then like, I, I think it was, it was my friend that like, gave the wallet back to her. And she just like I think blocked me or deleted me. It was just like why? <laughs> like just say thank you. Like just say maybe drop a message. I, I got the wallet. <laughs> just say something. I, even though I wasn't the one who gave the wallet her, but I was the one who like uh, uh, told her like okay, we found your wallet. So the, these are the maybe the things that in in daily life happen to me. But besides that, like um, I don't know those like good Latvian friends that I have here, they are like very helpful. Like if I'm having an issue, let's say immigration office, or let's say, I don't know, if I need some kind of translation or help, they are like very helpful. Um, okay, now I'm not going to office, but if when I was going to office and trying to speak in Latvian, they were trying to help me to learn the things. So I don't know. I, I like those things that people are doing, like the small things mm -hmm. in, in daily life. So even though the bad things happen to me, but those good things are way, way more than. Yeah. So I appreciate it. Yeah. And how did you, these Latvians that are helping you with mm -hmm. these things, how did you meet them? Did you meet them through work or through social times? Or um, I, I think I had some friends that I had, like, uh, I think maybe I, I found a couple of them like true. I think before I moved here, like I was maybe just adding people and just trying to chat. Like, of course, I had uh, friends like uh, from work or like outside of work. Um, like sometimes, of course, I meet with Turkish people, uh, even though I don't want to interact with Turkish people here because like, I came to a new country, new experience. So I don't want to do this because I want to, let's say, meet with I don't know, Spanish people instead of a Turkish people because I already know how Turkish people are and I already have lots of Turkish friends. <laughs> uh, but of course, it happens. Uh, um yeah the also like nationality side i met with people and yeah the work social life and the my it nationality like helped it was, me. yeah it, yeah. it wasn't too difficult for you to meet <laughs> yeah, locals yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 i'm a bit talkative so maybe it helps <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um what 
things do you reflect on? What would you say to someone, mm -hmm. maybe from Turkey, but really from anywhere, who was thinking mm -hmm. about living in a new place that was very different than where they're from? What kinds of um, advice would you give them or, or tell them to think about? I mean, if they are thinking to move to Latvia or any other place? Really anywhere, but you can speak from your experience. Ah, um, if they are, if they want you to move abroad or if they are thinking, I think it's already uh, more than 50%, they are going to move anyways. Uh, but if it is anywhere, I think they need to think about the, the happiness. So you can get the money, but the happiness is, the, I think, is a bit more important. And this was the thing that I was planning. Like, I just need to be happy. And then I, I came to Latvia and I, I'm happy. But if someone wants, if the person is thinking to move to Latvia, uh, if they are the first choice is the economical reasons, of course, like uh, the Latvia is not the, the richest uh, European country, but uh, the, the nature, the, I don't know, the country itself, the, the history, I really like it, the, the, the traditions, like, uh, even though I still don't know like all of them, uh, I don't know, I can easily say if they like the nature and architecture, I can easily say I love the architectural buildings here and not being in a crowded place because I can go anywhere in Riga. That's why I was surprised like, like uh, if I'm inviting someone, if the person says, oh, like it will, it will take 30 minutes. Like it's for them, it's, it's very, very long. But for me, it's like, Okay, because I think we got used to this being in a traffic jam for hours. But here, if it is like more than five minutes, it's a bit long for them. Like, you know, the country is small, you can go anywhere. This is the thing I really like. Uh, the social life is nice, like uh, you can find open places almost any time. Of course, before pandemic. And um, I don't know, especially now the autumn, the nature is amazing, even though I, I wasn't able to go to Stigulda. But the, the places like this, it's uh, I can easily say the nature is the number one. <laughs> so it sounds like maybe what you did was when you were thinking about happiness, yeah. you defined, you said, here are some things that I think yeah. would make me happy. So you knew yeah. nature was important for you and you knew that a calm small yeah. place was important for you. Yeah. Um, whereas for some other people, it might be the opposite. I, knew, I really need yeah. to be in the energy of a city or I really need to be yeah. in a, you know, maybe a beach side place or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, as I told you, like people from my hometown, um, as they are a bit kind of, maybe because of the weather as well, they get heated easily. Mm. Like those little, like respecting in the traffic jam, or maybe in daily life, or keeping the the the, the outside clean, or not caring those small things in in the, how this person looks and blah blah blah. Uh, but here it's way opposite. Like almost no traffic jam, super calm, quiet. Um, it was for me a perfect place. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And so what are you thinking going forward? What are kind of your plans in terms of um, getting to do more things or getting to know more things? Uh, I mean, now I don't have a car, but I, I would try to to just to see the country, whole country. But of course, there are places that I have been um which i really like the the kuldiga like of course yurmala sigulda those like the kind of bigger places but i know those small places have the the things that you you would never see somewhere else i would love to see this one as well about the latvian latvian nature i know there are those ones um, we have been to one small place 
it was a city, I guess. I don't know. I think it's Baldone, or maybe mm-hmm. I am wrong. I don't remember. It was a city. We went there. It was that was just like one market, uh, one restaurant, and I think one cafe. But it was a city, and people they were used to this. But for us, like uh, you know, like as my hometown was a bit big, like this the chaotic life. This was the city that we knew. But the Baldona is also a city, so like okay, this is also a nice place. What's like mm-hmm. strange but nice. So maybe I would try to discover those like hidden places for me, hidden places mm-hmm. in that. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Any last thoughts? Um, um, like even though there are like lots of things I need to learn about Latvian, Latvian people, I really appreciate how Latvian people like their country and uh, I don't know the the the, I, the foreigners. For me, they like foreigners, like like uh, the how they approach to them. Like if you speak, especially Latvian, um, for me they are really helpful, and I can say that's why I like Latvia. Excellent. Well, thank you for sharing a little bit of your story. And maybe Thank in the you. future we will check in more. We will see if you, <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> if you were able to get to any of those small places. Yeah. But thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.